But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't this think God gave them. Is brought to you that by we believe without understanding. That most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs>
And actually, the link I gave you, the, you know, that is the easiest way to find me because people, they can use the same name, but people cannot have the same exact details as I post in the, in the, in the chat. Uh, so when the Muhammadan, they speak about what they call amazing Quran, I find it's amazing, lovable, stupid, untruthful, deception, full of lies. And I can prove it. But just to show you that what they say to you is absolutely a lie, and this is why I'm challenging the Muhammadan to call me right now and tell me. You will see a Muhammadan saying to you, okay, do you know how many the word uh, uh, the day is mentioned in the Quran 365 day time. Okay. Do you know how many the word night mentioned in the Quran 365 time? And then, if we do the calculation, we will find that this is absolutely a fraud. And even if this is true, I can make a book. I say stupid 12 time and I say smart 12 time. Does that make me God? So, even the idea they try to bring to you. Is showing how desperate they are and how bankrupt and then they come with the new uh, you know this is new that the miracle of number 19 and then we find that people like Ahmad Didat, Shabir Ali they keep using it you know and then Ahmad Didat he got busted they ask him well is it really true this now number 19 he admitted that this is a theory and have a flaws on it and he was using it because it is useful to convert Christians and to convince Muslims. So it was, he, he admit that he was using a fraud, a fraud method, which is not a true, just to fool people. All right? So who is a Muslim? Like we have a guy, his name is Israel. He is from Pakistan. Now he used to call himself Palestine. And then, and then he became Israel. I mean, this is how easy to flip, you know. Just to show you how stupid this book is. Isn't it us we just played yesterday? Yes, Arkadi. Saying the tales in the Quran does not make sense. And tens of thousands of people and Muslims are leaving Islam because of them. Didn't we just play it yesterday? Shall we play it again? Shall we? <laughs> People leave in Islam by groups, by waves, because of the tales in the Quran. But the same people, they say to us that the Quran is an amazing book full of amazing stories and Muhammad is telling the truth. So why you are saying people leave in Islam then because of those tales, if they are amazing? How they are amazing and then people, they leave, they believe. How that make any sense? So the stories in the Quran not only doesn't make sense to non-Muslims, but there's no sound, sorry. Okay, let me fix that. Give me a second. I apologize. Perhaps some of you are not accustomed to hearing people speak like this, but my philosophy is different. We are dealing with the crisis of people leaving our faith, our own children, our own young men and women. And of the reasons why is that we are not answering some of these issues that they bring and we dismiss them. And I myself have discussed many of these issues with these types of people. And one of them, not the only one, but one of them is Ya'juj and Ma'juj. One of them, not only one, many of them is Ya'juj of Ya'juj. So how the Quran is amazing and then the Muslims cannot answer their own children and they are leaving Islam. 
I mean, do you see how weird this cult is? So this religion is amazing. The Quran is amazing. But our kids are leaving Islam because we cannot answer about the amazing Quran. How that work for you Muslims? Isn't it, this is really weird? That's mean it is obvious that Muhammad is the most obvious false prophet. Because it cannot be that the Quran is amazing, yet Muslim cannot answer about fairy tales stories in the stupid Quran, and Muslims are leaving Islam. So what the Muslim they do? They come to a person, he do not know anything about Islam, he is ignorant, he is stupid, and there is many of them in the West. They are stupid about everything. They don't even know who is the president in their country, in America, or even in Europe. So they come to a person, and when they find a person who is really stupid, that is the, that is their day, you know, I mean, we can fool him. And we start lying to them about how amazing the Quran, there is scientific facts, there is amazing discovery in the Quran, there is uh, 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 beautiful stuff in the Quran. All of those, all, all those things is in the Quran. All those things are in the Quran. A person he asks Zach and Nick, how come the Muslim they claim discovery of things after the science discovered it? <laughs> how come Muslim they claim discovery in the Quran after the science discovered it? <laughs> no sound again okay okay hold on let us fix that it's my mistake no problem no problem talking about things which are only able to comprehend after the real invention is made by science so can you tell me now something from the quran which will be invented by science later or yet to be invented Brother, that's a very good question that I've mentioned many things about science indirectly saying all this was already discovered earlier. And if Quran says something and after science has discovered, so what's the use? Can you tell me something which science hasn't discovered? Brother, that's the reason the Arabs were advanced in the field of astronomy. Why? Because they read the Quran. The Quran has a lot of information on astronomy. So when they read the Quran, they try and do more investigation. They do more research. And that's how they come to know. Quran is a telegraphic message. This is the book of science only on one subject. In medicine, one subject only requires volumes. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we cannot uh, play long videos of Zach and Naik, so we die laughing. But let us go to the scientific and the astronomy of the Quran. Do you know that Muhammad in the Quran, Aka Allah, he claimed that if you try to go to the space, Allah will shoot your ass with fire and copper. Hmm? The discovery of science in the Quran. Let us see the science. This is the Quran. O assembly of jinn and men, if you are if you are able to pass through the region of the heaven and the earth then pass th uh, through you cannot pass through but with authority we ask the muslims who is the one who have authority they will say the prophets and the angels and if you try go down there's no need to read this one because the muhammad is repeating the same thing every two seconds he's a stupid man trying to make a rap song but he's out of words so here he says and if you if you try to go the flames of fire and the smoke will be sent to you. And the translation here, as usual, is a stupid false because it says in Arabic, Yursilu alaykuma shawadun min narin wa nuhasanu falatan tasiran. So Allah will send fire, wa nuhas, kupar, so you cannot win. Change the translator just to show you this how stupid even even their translation have no dignity. 
I mean, th this is the same guy, Yasser Qadi, yesterday we play his video, the same, you know, channel, the same video. He said that Yusuf Ali do not even speak Arabic. I mean, the, the Muslim who translate the Quran from Arabic to English, they don't speak Arabic. And look here, this is a different one. Where is the word Nuhas? What the heck? What is that? So you keep changing the translator. Maybe you will find, you. maybe you will get lucky. And for sure, if you don't speak Arabic, you will not know what different. You know, let us see. I'm just changing translators. All of them are Muslims. Yeah, here we go. Milton Cooper. In the previous translation, both of them they have no Milton and they have no Cooper. So, if you try to go out of the zone of the earth, trying to go to the sky, Allah will shoot your ass by Milton Cooper. So, what the Russian are doing up there, and what the American are doing up there, and what this Elon Musk is doing up there, and what is everybody is doing up there. Aren't you amazed by the Quran? So that Muhammad, he thought there is no way anyone can one day go, you know. He went with the top of a flying mule, right? And he came back in a few hours, even though the Quran says it take the angel 1,000 years to go and 1,000 years to come back. But Muhammad donkey was able to make it in few hours, not only to go to heaven, to go back to Jerusalem, and in Jerusalem, by the radar, he found 124,000 prophets waiting for him. And then, the, the, I mean, the story is hilarious. You know, I love those stories, by the way, because it's uh, giving me a lot of inspiration. I want to be a writer, you know, one day. I wrote books, yeah, but I cannot write a book like Muhammad. So when Muhammad, he arrived to Jerusalem, he came to the Aqsa, but Aqsa was not there. This is the temple of the Jews. And then, Brother Jibreel, he put his finger in the wall. Man, Jibreel, look at Jibreel. He put his finger in the wall. And then he make a hole in the wall by his finger. And then he tied up the donkey. Make sense? This is a donkey sent by Allah from the seven galaxies behind the seven eleven. All the way from heaven, he did not lose his way. Coming to Muhammad to pick up Muhammad. And now the Jibreel is afraid that the donkey will run. And now we have to tie up the donkey. Which is a flying donkey, by the way. Hmm. So we are amazed by the Quran, aren't we? Who is a Muslim when I call us and tell us how amazing what we see here? Anyone? My Skype is open. My Skype is open. They are amazed by the Quran. All what they have for you, stupid things. Do you know? The Allah, he said in the Quran, the word day 365 times. Abdul, if this is true, that's even more, more horrible. Because why your God, Allah, he claimed that the moon calendar is his calendar. If the 365 days is the correct one. I mean, even their claims is stupid. It is laughable. Before I go live, uh, somebody was speaking to this guy back from Pakistan who called himself Israel. And now he is not texting. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he will come back. He will call himself Jacob. You know, uh, Ahmad Didat was making fun of Israel. He says, <laughs> in your Bible, it says Jacob, he struggled with God. <laughs> you stupid idiot. So why you Quran call him Israel? The second you call him Israel, you accept the story. So they make mockery of the Bible because of their ignorant and they are stupid, like their prophet. The one who says if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a, a, a girl. And if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. And this is why if I get married, I will never have an orgasm first. I don't want my son to look like me. That is a horrible. I mean, he will shoot me actually later. You know, like you will say, look what you did to me. Uh, here we notice that the Quran not only laughable, even the idea of the God they have, like you see a Muslim, you talk to him, he says, we have one God, one God, look, one God, you know, like, you know, you have one penis too. So, how that to prove anything? There's millions of religions, they have one God, and they think that they are superior because they speak of one God. Okay, you have one God, but your God says, if I want to take a wife, I will take it from us. So how that work for you? Hmm? We have one God. 
Yet this God, if you want to get married or have a girlfriend, he will have her from us. How that will work? So what happened? El Messiah, you see, you keep repeating the same text non-stop. If you don't stop doing that, I will block you, even if you are a Christian. Stop repeating the same text over and over. You post a text once, that's it. People aren't blind. Don't act like Muslims. You are acting literally like Muslims. They spam the chat. They think they can take over by spam or by numbers. Had we intended to take a pastime, i.e. a wife or a son, etc., we could surely have taken it from us. Okay, us who? How Allah is one, but he want to take a partner. Listen, the, the Muslim, you ask him, oh, why Allah, he say us? He says, Allah, he speak about himself like in a majestic way. When Allah, he say we, he don't mean that he is many. But like you know, the king, he say we. But look how, how stupid the answer. That means Allah himself is not happy with the word I. He don't feel like it's good for him. He don't feel satisfied with being I. He feel better when we say we. So Allah, he use a fake we to make himself more honorable. I mean, how stupid this religion is. If he is not we anyway, and then you see, look, 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 it's in the front of you. In every verse, wherever you go, it says, we could surely have taken it from us. Like, what the heck with you? We and us. And yet in every chat, in every post, they say to you, we believe in one God. Well, your God, he don't like it to be one, obviously. He like to be we. And if he is not we and he call himself we, that means he's a fake we. And if God, he need to be majestic by words, that is a false God. God is majestic by his act, by his action, by his ability, by his power, not by we. Here we go. I'm saying, I'm going to say we, Christian prince. Does that make me God? Do you feel better now? That will make me look, look, sound like a foolish person. We ask the Muslim, do you believe in the Trinity? They say no. Okay, well, I mean, if you believe in Trinity, I can say like that, I can let it go. Like, you know, us, we, you know. But you don't, you, you keep saying, and then now we find different problem that Allah, Mr. We, not Mr. Bean, you know, Mr. Bean is Muhammad. Mr. We is Allah. And this is what they make movie together, like uh, Mr. We Bean. So Mr. We have been looking for a wife and he said, if we want to take a wife, we will take it from us. Right? Uh, Mr. Adam, focus with me, otherwise I will block you. People, please. Why you ask me a question have nothing to do with our topic? I mean, if we are done and we are having fun, we can ask me a question. What's wrong with people? Why we don't focus? Ask yourself, is it time? Is it time for such a question? Please. I want adult, mature people. Before you post a question, ask yourself, is it time for it? If it's not time, then shut up. Don't speak stupid like Allah. I mean, this is Allah. He's a stupid. Are you Allah now? You want to say we, we need to change the topic now for you? So when Allah, he say we, surely have taken it from us and Allah is one. Yet he is we and he want to take a partner from us. So Allah is going to have sex with himself and he, this is us. Is Allah is a she, he in the same time? Do we have any Muslim have the courage and the knowledge to call us and tell us about Mr. We, he want to take a wife from us? And now don't tell me us here mean himself because he's talking about taking a wife or a son. And actually the verse speaks specifically about a woman. 
the word lahu in Arabic mean women. And even this is by the way, I'm not the one is saying that. I can show you from your interpretation, from your scholars. If we wish to take a lahwan, which means fun, this is how stupid this God is. This is how down he look at the women. He don't look at the women as a creature, they deserve respect. He speak at her or of her as if she is a toy for fun. This is why they call her lahwan. Something for fun. Do we have any brave Muslim? He belonged to the religion of Mr. We. So he can call us and tell us how Allah is going to get married from us. Anyone? So obviously what you are proud about is just a mockery of intelligence and it's nothing but a pure lie. So if you want to go to the space, Allah will shoot your ass. If you want to talk about creation, Allah is a special in biology. Look at the biology of Allah. Allah, he made you brother from a sperm. Okay. And then brother, the sperm become a dead blood. Mm. I see. Now I know what, what my dad was doing in the wood. He came from hunting and he was his shirt was covered by blood. Hmm. I thought he was hunting. It turned to be sperm. You know? I did not tell my mom about it. Man. My, now my memory is going back to that time. He had his rifle and he got the blood in his t-shirt. And I was thinking highly of him that, you know what, he was hunting. And what? It turned to be that this is the sperm. Allah knows best what he was doing in the wood with, 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 with somebody, you know, or, you know, like a beautiful female or something. And uh, because now the nutfa uh, became a dry and then became a blood. The Quran in front of you, brother. Science, you know, and it is a thick blood. It's not just a blood. And now I remember it was thick, very thick. It's like a 20 centimeter thing, brother. And then they say to you, and Zakir Naik says to you, the Quran is a book of science and full of discovery. And then the clot became a lump. And then the lump became a flesh. And then we made the flesh into bones. So in this stage, you are born. Any Muhammadan? If there is any Muslim would like to call us. Any proud Muslim? Shall we talk about Gog and Magog? The story yes, Al Qadi was a crying about. And the Muslim, they try to lie and fabricate explanation to cover up the duct, duct tape. They are out of duct tape. So there is a creatures now. They are called Gog and Magog, brother. And they are hidden behind the dam, brother. And who is the one who built the dam, brother? Is the one who find the sun set in the muddy, hot, boiling water of a spring, brother. Amazing Quran. And then you ask a Muslim, okay, what, what, what the Quran is saying? They say, no, no, no. The verse saying that this is was from the perspective of Zulkarnain. Where is the word perspective? Show me. Here we go. The verse in front of us. Hey, Muhammadan, where is the word perspective? Where it says that Zulkarnain, if this is true, that means Allah should correct him. Allah is reporting, the one is talking here is Allah. You see, this is this is your God, Mr. We, who was going to marry from us, who made the nutfa, the sperm, into dead blood. This is the same guy. So 
if the word from the perspective of Mr. Zulkarnain, which is Alexander the Great, which is strange, in Islam he became a prophet and he is a homosexual, bisexual actually. Where it says that, where it says this is from the perspective, it says he found it. And not only that, it says when he reached, you see, the Zulkarnain now is not talking. You see, when the deception starts working to duct tape the stupidity of Muhammad, this is not the guy talking yet. This is Allah. Allah saying, enter when he reached the city in place of the sun. Where is that? If there is a place where the sun set. Since when? So this guy, he go with his army in a long, 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 long journey. His, his, his journey is not a, one night. This guy, he never come back home. This guy, he spent his life since he came out of him, his town. He never came back home. His journey in war went for many, many years. So this is not about one day. So this guy keep going, keep going, keep going, until finally he found where the sun place, where the sun set. It says in front of you, he reached the sitting place of the sun. And he found it, he, not he thought, I remember the Muslim they tried to fix the word found it. They say in the same chapter it says Wajadaha, you know, that he found uh, uh, about the story of Moses and Al Khudr. He found the wall is going almost to fill down. Okay, but this is, yeah, he found it. It's a, it's a physical wall. It's not, you know. And he said, uh, it says like it says going to jump. The wall is going to jump. Do you have you ever heard of a, a wall will jump? Uh, yes, it will jump and fail. This is a phrase to describe how bad it is. The important is he found a wall almost going to collapse. This is a real find. It's not, not metaphorical. And here, as you see, this is about geography. This is about the sun. This is not about metaphor. I can say, uh, like he found that he is in love with this person. Okay, that can be something else. This is not physical. However, in Islam, everything is physical. Do you remember when Muhammad, he received faith and wisdom by dishes? Guys, do you remember? Who remember? How many of you is young like me? You remember things. If you are 17 years old, give me one. Look how many, look how many, they will put one now, look, unbelievable. Takiya, Takiya brother, Takiya, you know, all of them, they are 17 now. I thought I am the only one is 17 here, unbelievable. 17, huh? Yeah, all of you are 17, okay, 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 I got the point, I got the point. Yeah, true story, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, da, 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 uh-huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh unbelievable, man, what are you doing, you know? 17 years old. Man. Anyway, it's a true story and we have to deal with it. What we can do. You know, things happen. You know, what you can do. So, if we go actually, let us see. Uh, let me find the hadith. The amazing Islam teach that faith come in dishes. So when the Muslim they speak about metaphorical, even that is screwed by Muhammad's stories. Even what is metaphorical, what it is not physical, even what is a spiritual, even what it's called wisdom, even what's called faith, suddenly become physical. Read with me. I don't know how many of you saved the reference we gave you last time. Okay. Here it says that the two angels, they came to him. Let me put it on the screen.
And the easiest way to find the word, you know how to search in the website, just to click. I don't know what computer you're using, depending on your computer. So now I will search for the word gold in English for, you know, for faster use. Here we go, we found it. So the two angels, they came to Muhammad, they washed his chest with, the, uh, with water from Zamzam. You know Zamzam, brother? I mean, you cannot wash it with anything. It have to be Zamzam, not Pepsi Cola. Zamzam, brother, which is full of arsenic. Go watch the BBC report. So they clean his inside his body, and then a golden tray contain a golden bowl full of belief and wisdom was brought, and then Jibreel stuffed his chest and his throat blood vessels with it. And by the way, it looked like the throat have a blood vessels by itself. Eh, location, location, location. You know, don't they say location, location? Like you open your restaurant in the middle of nowhere, who's going to come? Location. So they stuffed, they stuffed, what they stuffed, you know, like if you are from Asia, Asian, they love to use rice, right? I mean, they stuff rice in the rice. I mean, but here, Asian people, what do you do? You make rice juice, rice cake, rice uh, sweet, rice uh, uh, i mean everything is made from rice unbelievable you know this is why when uh, the american they send uh, somebody to asia you know the, to visit korea they send condoleezza rice and you know the korean they were hugging her like crazy you know okay like, hey, condoleezza rice hey rice you know so like she was really she was a superstar because she is the first rice from america coming to uh, uh, korea in in, uh, in venezuela all right so here brother Alhamdulillah, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad, and he is the very smart, and Muhammad is so smart to the point, he needed a plastic surgery in Thailand. And what the doctors in Thailand, the first doctor said to the other doctor, hmm, what do you think we should do to this guy? He said, we should put rice. The other said, he said, come on, what rice? I mean, hello, his problem is way bigger than rice. No rice in the world can fix him. Mm. So what we should do? The other one, he said, I think we should add silicone because it's the problem in his, his chest. The other one, he says, silicone, but that will make him, I mean, look funny. He's already funny. And what we will do with his intelligence, silicone will not fix his, you know, I mean, he's messed up. So then, brother, Allah is almighty. He is all wise and he is all rice. Okay, all rice. What all rice? He's all right. He's all right. Forget about rice now. So Allah, the Almighty, the all rice, oh boy, the all right, he told them, okay, listen, I'm send you right now as we speak a dish of gold and a dish of uh, uh, full of gold, sorry, a dish made of gold in a, a bowl and both of them made of gold and there is their brother, there is their uh, faith and wisdom. And you know, all of us we knew like you know if you meet ever someone is a smart the first question you should ask him where you got it from and I'm talking about the dishes now because as you see everything come in dishes everything come in dishes and then they said to you the amazing prophet the amazing Quran and they will find this religion believe that faith and wisdom is dishes and how they make it activated you know you see like they say to you install window 10 install window whatever install uh, uh, ios uh, mac whatever you know no brother no islam is way advanced this stuff because they have to force the knowledge inside it's too much knowledge so the angels they put their their foot and they push it hard in his blood vessels look 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 it says where they were they stuffed his chest you can imagine how big the chest of the prophet i mean his nipples will be like boing 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 because the wisdom is almost coming out if you squeeze the nipples of the prophet what will come out 
Mayonnaise, no. Milk, no. Faith and wisdom. And then they say to us that Islam is advanced and Islam is beyond science. Is that true, Muslims? And if they say to you, this is a weak hadith, this is Sahih Bukhari. This is the most authentic book the Muslims they have. Actually, it's more authentic than the Quran, supposedly. I order by the way like some of you ask me how come you how come you have too much knowledge about the garbage of Islam <coughs> I will tell you <coughs> let me drink some water this is what happened when you lie okay I will tell you a true story now you know when you ask me how come you know too much about the garbage of Islam you need to ask yourself how we can get the answer from the question garbage of islam it's obvious from the recycle so what i do i go to the government and i buy the recycle and i buy recycle of muslims only because wisdom is there and i try my best to find the recycle of prophet muhammad because he is always go green and he's very clean and he even even he was so clean to the point he cleaned himself from lice i mean this is how clean he is and he is so clean to the point he takes shower with dead dogs and women blood from period. And by the way, this is proven to be scientifically accurate. Hmm? The prophet, when he do that things, I mean, this is uh, pure science. I mean, like, you know, what, you know, what you can do about those things? You cannot do anything about it. I mean, you know, those kuffar, the Christian, the Jews, the Hindus, the Buddhists, the Muslims, the Buddhists, the Muslims, the Muslims, the all of them, they hate Prophet Muhammad. I mean, it's not a secret. Let us face it. But here, we are going to get them busted, right now, right here. And you know, the first thing Islam will notice in Islam, that Islam make you a very happy person. Islam is not a source of mental illness to the point a person, he want to kill himself and kill others so he can go to heaven and his penis will be endless. This is why you see always Muslims are very relaxed. Because Islam is peace and science. They are mixed together like a nice cocktail you know if there is any muslim have any response for what we just said what happened to the muslims who were in the chat before i go live the second i go live they disappear Very beautiful religion. It is amazing. It's a beautiful. It is peaceful. And it is civil. You know, Islam is other form of a sad guru. You know, sad guru, you say to him, relax, accept other person. You know, let us uh, uh, fight the bad karma, you know. And then the second I make a video against him, he go report me to YouTube. Accept each other if you don't agree with each other. Hey, Bokorasi, this is Islam. This sad guru is just another copy for different kind of a fraud. Relax. Huh? And the Muslim, they come to non-Muslim and they say, Prophet of Allah, he was very peaceful. And even there is a Jew, he used to piss and throw garbage in his door. And the Prophet never heard him. I challenged the Muslim, by the way, to show me where the story can be found. I mean, who of you can find me the story, which is very popular? For two reasons. Because the one who was doing piss is a Jew. And the piss. And that is involved the Prophet. As long as you say piss, it means the Prophet is there. So they fabricated stories. And when we asked them, where we can find this story, which book? They cannot find it. And they knew they are lying. They are lying to their teeth. In case they have teeth. Do we have any beautiful, peaceful Muslim would like to? Help us. 
anyone. You can, you know, you can express yourself. You can show us all the peace you have, no problem. And we are not worried about you being peaceful or not. We know how to deal with it. Worry about yourself. Arrest Dambar Shawarma. He want to arrest the women because they say because she said the prophet he married six years old. This is what your hadith says. I mean, those people are really weird. If you say to them what they keep saying every day, just because you are not a Muslim, arrest the women. And look, they are crying. They are very sad. She said that the prophet he married six years old girl. Well, is it your prophet wife? She said that. I mean, who is the stupid here? And by the way, scientifically, scientifically, according to Islam, a child she is six years old, she is a woman already. Mm -hmm. And actually, even the Muslim they say that Aisha she was very horny and she was dating another guy before Muhammad at the age of four. Troublemaker, you know Aisha? Man, she was sleeping around like a watermelon. Well, this is how Aisha she said. You read for them what is written in their book, they go, they go not. Did I say not? Don't talk about nuts. Even the nuts of Muhammad involved with science. Muhammad, he says, I was the most weak person in the world in Boom Boom. And then Allah, he sent me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it, I get the power of 40. This is science. Hey Muslims, who of you want to do, examine this story, eat shish kebab, invoke your God, since when God, you know, the Muslim, they say to us, if Allah, he want to do something, he say, be, is going to be. So why he send him a dish of shish kebab? Can't he fix his, his testicles by, by B? B, B? And the funny, his daughter, she ate with him. So Muhammad, he got the power of 40 in six. His daughter, she got the power of what? I feel sorry for her husband. Man, his thing will be like in fire, you know, burning. And he keep putting he keep putting it in water. You know, she is she have the power of 40 men. She ate with him. She ate with the Prophet. From the same dish, brother. I never heard of a God he fixed a penis of his prophet by Shish kebab. I mean, Jesus, he made the blind see, but he did not give him the medicine and shish kebab and tell him, you eat it and you know, what the heck is that? We are talking about God. And your God, he cook. And by the way, I feel sorry for Muhammad. How long it took for the shish kebab to arrive? He sent it with the angels breathe. It says in the Quran, it take 1,000 years just to go down. So the shish kebab Muhammad he ate, it was 1,000 years ago, you know, cooked. And here you ask yourself, if Muhammad he lived in this earth like 60 years or something, how in the world the shish kebab alone to be made is made of 1,000 years ago? Uh, you know, Allah, he knew the story you know, because he destiny, Muslim believe in destiny. So Allah, he made a destiny that his penis of Muhammad is not going to feng sin. So he said, I'm going to make his penis not to feng sin. And then he wrote this is a story like, you know, a long, long time ago. And then he, a thousand years ago, uh, Allah, he went to his kitchen. He cooks his kebab, hummus, and you know, spices, you know, like uh, from Thailand. You know, the Thai man, in Thailand, there's a lot of spice and it's not hot. Not hot at all. And Indian, Indian spices too is not hot. I advise you to take a lot of it. Yeah. Uh, don't do that at home. Okay. I'm just kidding. Okay. And I mean, people are crazy. They will do it. Don't do it. Okay. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. So it says Allah, He direct His affair from the heaven to the earth in a day which is equal to 1,000 years of your timing. Okay, so the affair of Muhammad about his penis is not working came to Allah. In order for the angels to arrive with an affair, they have to take 1,000 years to go. In order 
I'm not going to say how long Allah took him to make the dish kebab. I will say he took him 10 minutes. He's very fast, Allah. Even though it says that Allah will take him 1,000 years to soften the skin of women in heaven. I mean, this guy, he did not know about Bozar Vaseline, don't you? So Allah, he made the, the, the dish of fish kebab. And now 1,000 years to go, 1,000 years to come back. So Muhammad actually, the affair of Muhammad, of his private part, to be fixed, it took 2,000 years for Allah. But Muhammad, he lived in this earth 60 years. I mean, do you see the amazing science here? Hmm? Do we have any Muslim? Who is a Muslim? Anyone? Abdul Hazak, he is saying, uh, he is using Google Translation, not a true talk. And then he says, uh, Abdul, I mean, even your name is Abdul, what I can say. Why you don't call me and show me how good you are? Hmm? What do you think? Who is a Muslim? He still think Islam is good. He still he think Islam is really a belief, even a religion. I mean, Islam is not a religion. Obviously, it's just a a collection of fairy tale stories and stupid st stuff. Anyone? Who is a Mohammedan would like to share something good? You know, Muhammad, he have knowledge even in the past. He's, 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 a, he's a historian, you know. He can tell you what, whatever the Jews happen with them. Like an example, uh, Muhammad, he saw a bunch of rats. They don't drink Campbell uh, 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 milk. So Muhammad, he noticed that they are Jews. And Allah cursed them and made them rats. But I find that the most amazing story and discovery, that there was a guy... He was very horny, but he wanna do jihad. His name is Salamon, brother. And then he said to himself, I'm going to do boom, boom today to 100 women. 100 women. You know, I like that. I, I like a full number. I don't like 99, you know? I mean, 99 is not really 99. I mean, made them 100, that's it. So Suleiman, he says, today I'm going to do boom, boom. I'm not going to use the effort, okay? Because I'm very polite, you know me, all right? So I'm not going to say it. Did I say it? No, I did not say it. So he want to do boom, boom. And boom, boom mean, you know the, you know the thing. So I will go around tonight, in the night. Look, look, he go around, you see? Because, you know, you know the thing, you know? And uh, to my 99 wives, if we go to the Quran, do you know what the Quran called the wives? Do you know what the Quran says that Suleiman he was married to? He was married to goats. 99 goats. If you don't believe me, here we go. I take and take you there. Should I take you there? Who want to go there? You want to be here or there? Hmm? Here we go. Goat. What the heck with this religion? What the heck of this religion? 99 goats. Solomon, he have 99 goats. Solomon, you are a really troublemaker, man. Even, even goats are not uh, safe from your hand. You must be a Muslim for sure. So this guy, Solomon, he decided to have sex with 99 goat or wife, like a wife, you know. And then a brother, uh, when he decided to do the boom, boom, uh, you know, stuff, business, uh, people they said to him, a Prophet Salamon, you need to say inshallah before you put the, the thing in the thing, you know. Salamon, he said, Come on, I'm busy now, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited, I want to do jihad. And the purpose of this ifin, okay, I did not say ifin, did I say ifin? No, I did. The purpose of this boom boom, 
uh, because the brother he wanna bring babies to do jihad and join Al Qaeda. Yes, brother. And he wanna make an army in one night. He did, this guy he was a thief for centuries, and now suddenly he said, you know what? Tonight I'm going to do boom boom to all the women, and I am going to make a, you know. And in the morning they will give me babies. Yeah, this is true. You do it in that night. By the morning you will have a baby. Masallah. And then here it says that when he did the 99 women, which is very easy, by the way, we are Middle Eastern, we can do more. I mean, I'm telling you. I mean, what 99? I remember my grandfather, I mean, he finished like with the 77 in less than 70 seconds. You know? You know the thing? This is a true story, by the way. So the guy, he just, you know, he went around and those is true story and Islam amazing. And that's why the Muslim, they make videos about the amazing and the science that there is a guy, according to science, he can have sex with 99 women in one night. Let me get my calculator here. I have a calculator, by the way. And actually the original name of calculator is Calcutta. If any of you are here from Calcutta, you should be proud. It's called Calculator from Calcutta. Okay, now here it says, okay, if we have 99 women and then I have 8 hours of night. Is it 8 hours or more? Let us see 8 hours first. This guy was finishing. Man, he finished. 12 women in every hour. What the heck? It is divided 12 into 60. He finished the women in less than two uh, seconds. What the heck? No, that's hold on. In two minutes. He finished every woman in two women. Very good. Very good. Very nice. Yeah, this is, uh, this is our average as Arab, you know? We finish our business in two minutes, brother. Yeah, the, the wife, this is why the wife of Muhammad, she said, do, do women even have orgasm? You remember the story when Muhammad, he says, the women, if, if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. So the wife of Muhammad, Umm Salama, she said, oh, do women have orgasm? You know, they never have orgasm. Yeah, just uh, put that in your disc discovery channel that uh, calculator is made in Calcutta but you know the, to be honest with you the original of the calculator is made by Prophet Muhammad I will tell you how as an example the Quran brother the amazing Quran sorry to say Quran alone I mean I should not say that sorry I apologize the Quran says Allah he created the earth and the heaven in six days hmm it's all over the Quran. Chapter 7, verse number 54. Chapter 10, verse number 3. Chapter 11, verse number 7. Chapter 25, verse number 9. Chapter 23, you know. And then Muhammad, because he is very good with his calculator, he said the following. Are you ready? Are you sincerely ready? Hmm. I'm sure you are not. Because Muhammad is very good in calculator, calculation, and he is the founder of calculation science, he said the following. And by the way, you are Zach and Nick, how the Quran says six days, and then science says millions of years, and you say Big Bang. He said, Brother Thutar, Allah in the Quran, he said six days. But six days, it means six period. What the heck? Allah in the Quran said that one day for Allah is equal to 1,000 years of your counting. But that will make it 6,000 years, and that's it. He did not fix the problem. He said six period. Let us see the six period. Is it really six days or six thousand years? Read with me. The messenger of Allah took hold in my hand. I mean, Allah Muhammad, he cannot talk without holding hands, you know. Look how, how passionate he is, you know. Unbelievable. I mean, that's very beautiful. I, I mean, myself, I don't like to talk, you know, because I'm very passionate without holding your credit card. I mean, you see the different prophet is prophet, it's true prophet. So here it says, he took hold of my hand and said, Allah the exalted, the glorious, created the earth in Saturday, 
and the mountain on Sunday, and the tree in Monday, and the things entirely in labor in Tuesday, and the light in Wednesday, and he spread the animal and all kind of animals, and you know, in Wednesday, and then sorry, uh, uh, Thursday, and he created Adam in a Friday afternoon, and yet Zachariah says it was a period, and the period is billions of years. I mean, it says here Friday afternoon. And now, as long as we were speaking about calculation, if we go back in our conversation, maybe you forgot, because most of you are not uh, good in uh, memory, you know? I like people who they are good in memory. I like to borrow money from them. You know, so I go to people, ask people, do you have good memory? He said, no, my memory is horrible. So I said to him, can I borrow $10 from you? <laughs> And then second day, he forget about it. <laughs> Unbelievable. So beautiful. True story. Here it says, if you count with me the days, we just showed you the Quran saying, Allah created the earth and the heaven and whatever inside them in six days. But if we count the calculator of Muhammad, we will find that there are seven. Shall we count? Let us count together. How many of you are good in counting? If there's any accountant here? Because the story is very complicated. And need accountant, brother. A Muslim accountant. The Muslim accountant is the best. Let us read together and see the special intelligence of a Prophet Muhammad. So Allah created the earth in Saturday. Okay, this is day number one. Um, should we type number one here? Yeah, let's type number one. Because the Muslim, they will say to me, it doesn't say that, same thing. You know them. You know the thing. Let us make it... Uh, in the red okay one so this is i'm typing in arabic hold on one so this is day number one wonderful we continue and the mountain in sunday actually let me line the line and then we tie the numbers and the trees in monday and the light in wednesday Okay. Uh, and then he spread the animals and all kind in Thursday. And then he created Adam Friday afternoon. <laughs> the last hour of a Friday. Uh, Muslims, is that a correct hadith? Or this is fabricated hadith? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I missed, uh, I missed Tuesday, sorry, I missed what? I missed, uh, uh, sorry, Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's okay, we got it. I think Allah, he made me miss it. Oh, by the way, I miss you too. I think Allah did that too. Thank you very much. So Allah, Prophet, Calculator. Let us count together. So number one is there. This is number one. Now we go to number two. This is Sunday. And this we go to number three. This is Monday. And then we go to number four. This is Tuesday. And now we go to number five. This is Wednesday. We will put it here so no confusion will happen. And now we go to number six. This is Thursday. And now we go to number seven. Muslims, how in the world you're a prophet is a prophet how the Quran says everything in the heaven and the earth everything and whatever between them is created in six days and then you're a prophet he said what he said aren't you amazed
and not to forget, even the Quran, there's different verse, make them eight days. The Muslim, they tried to fix it. Allah, he said, he created the earth in two days. Everything in the top of the earth in four days. And that confirmed actually by this hadith here. The difference is one day more. So two days to create the earth, four days to create whatever in the top of the earth, and then two days to create the heaven. And the funny is how you create the earth before you create the heaven. Don't you need a space for it? Heaven is a space. Any Muhammadan? Uh, Israel from Pakistan is taking uh, taking a vacation. Barb, now Barb, he's barbing now. Yeah, uh, uh, Israel from Pakistan, my friend. Your prophet, he is the first one who discovered that Shaitan he jump in your mouth when you do yawning. The only God, it's, it's amazing. Islam is amazing. The only God who hate yawning and he loves sneezing is Allah. You know, first time I saw this. I was a kid. I was dying laughing. Second day I saw a guy. He was sneezing. He was a Muslim. I said to him, Allah love you. And I was laughing. He smiled. He had no idea. He said, thank you. He have called. Have you ever heard of a God? He loved those who sneeze and he hate those who, who who yawn. And then the prophet, he exclaimed, you know, the Muslim, they made the article, you know, this guy, his name, Dr. Uh, uh, Sabil, I think he's a doctor or something, Sabil. What is it, sisters? Prophet Muhammad told us thousand four fourteen hundred years ago that we need to cover our mouth and this is can fight diseases. How Prophet Muhammad, he said that? You stupid idiot son of Muta. Your prophet is not talking about diseases. He's talking about shaitan jumping your side of your mouth. So they lie to people. They, You see, they, they cover the, the second part of the story. They say to you, brother and sisters, in Sahih al-Bukhari, etc., it says, etc., etc., etc. But they will not read the rest. He says here, when you yawn, cover your mouth with your hand. And the rest, they hide it. And then they make an article about it. Science, brother. Don't read this. Do you see the scam? So what was funny and fiction suddenly become scientist. When do yawn? Huh? When you do yawn, they copy from the whole story. It's just to cover your mouth. And by the way, it's true. When you do yawning shaitan, he jump inside your mouth and he piss. Did you notice like when you open your mouth and you are yawning, sometimes uh, your saliva can fly? Did you ask yourself where from? This is not saliva. This is the piss of shaitan. Right away, he jump in your mouth. He grab his thing. Zzz, you know, like, hey, I'm here. I'm here. You know, true story. And the Muslim, they say, that Islam is amazing, the Prophet is amazing, the Quran is amazing, the Hadith is beautiful, and we are the people of science. Any Muslim have any comment? If you are a Muslim, please don't forget to sneeze. By the way, when that, Allah, you please. And if you are a Christian, please. Don't forget to yawn. Allah is from Japan. And he hates those who do yawn. And if you don't like it, he will immigrate to Taiwan. And this is what I made. It's called Quran. Aman Rabbi Aman. A God who hates those who sneeze, who, who those who yawning, and he loves those who sneeze. So the whole world have called and Allah is happy now. I remember once 
in a chat room in Paltok, I opened a chat room in the Muslim section, and the Muslim, they went to Paltok uh, the, the company and they reported me. And they said, this guy, close his room, close his room. And what the room? I mean, what I'm doing wrong? I open a chat room, says it, let us sneeze for the sake of Allah. Don't you want to make Allah happy? Sneeze. Allah love those who sneeze. I mean, it's not me who says that. Sneezing is coming from Allah. And Allah, he loved those who sneeze. Read it, read it, read it. You know? Allah loves sneezing, dislike Yanni. That's in front of you. Everybody in life, he have a hobby. Things make him happy. Allah, he ticklish when he sees somebody sneeze. You sneeze, hachoo. <laughs> sneeze more, sneeze more. I will increase your deed. And I will give you extra female in heaven. And you know what? I will give you extra power from Viagra. <laughs> what the heck is that? And then they say to you the amazing Quran and the amazing prophet and the amazing truth in Islam. And this God, he loved those who sneeze. And he hate those who, dis, who 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 yawn, and why people they if you sneeze is sneezing from Allah, if you yawn, it's from Shaitan, brother. And you should do your best to stop it. You should do your best. I mean, the yawning. It's your body giving you a sign that you are tired, you are sleepy. What does this have to do with shaitan? Your body has sensors, you know, it's occupied with sensors. There's a sensor for your heart, sensors for your brain, sensors for your skin, sensors for your eyes, sensors for everything. If somebody touch your hair, you can feel it. Because there is sensors everywhere. So when you do yawn, because you are tired. Not our topic, and I mean, no, you know, we don't want to change our topic. So, as you see, guys, Islam is a scam. And when those people they say to you, the amazing Quran, I open my sky for since an hour until now. How long we are here? Hour and 12 minutes. Not a single Muslim tried to call me. I'm going to exit Skype right now. The challenge made them in the corner they don't dare they will challenge you only if you are a person who know nothing about this garbage religion they chase you only if you know nothing about islam the second they notice that you know what is how stupid islam is they will never even get close to you I want to see in the comment how the brave Muslims who don't dare to call me can answer and you will see they will never answer anything we said the first thing the Muslim he will answer us after all what we said you believe in we believe in one God you believe in three God even your stupid God in the Quran says we believe in one why you lie why you lie And if a Muslim want to debate a Christian, he want to debate him about Trinity. My, my friend, what what do you mean debate about Trinity? Trinity, uh, you cannot debate about it. Because you, can you debate that God is one or two or three? Your God said to you he's one. Don't you just follow. Our God said to us he's one. We don't we don't debate God if he is one or he is two or he's a three, or he's four. If he said he is he's ten, he's ten. What debate? Are you going to design God as you wish? Here you see the hypocrisy of the Muslims. So they forgot all the stupid things in the Quran, and now they want to debate if God can be one or three. You see, you idiot. Just the second you say if he can, it's mean you don't believe in God. God, he can. In your religion, your God cannot. This is why the Quran says how Allah 
can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend and the one who used the word can or he can, you know is able is Allah and this is additional proof that Allah cannot be God and secondly showing us the ignorance of the God of Islam because if Allah is refuting the Christians and he is supposedly but Christians don't believe that God have a wife her name is Mary and they have a son his name is, Je is Jesus that is not what the Christian believe this is a stupid refutation and then here you see it says he is the originator of the heaven and earth how can he have a children when he have no concert a girlfriend not wife nowhere in the Quran says wife sahiba girlfriend and this is additional proof that Allah cannot be God because if he is God well he can guys does it say in the front of you in the Muslim translation not mine how can he I mean have you ever heard of a stupid statement like this how God he say how can I then how you claim that you are the God of Mary and Mary in the Quran she have no husband yet she have a son so Mary God he can make Mary have a son without having a husband why Allah cannot have a son without a wife Do you see the stupidity? The God of Mary, because he is the God who he can. There's nothing is impossible to our God. The God of Mary is the one who say to the one who cannot walk, walk. The guy, he carry his bed and he walk. The one who cannot see, see. The man, he stood up and he see. A woman, she touched just even the clothes of Jesus. She did not even ask for anything. She just touched his dress and she have strong faith in him. She was healed immediately. Muhammad is dying. Muhammad is sick. Muhammad describing honey and camel urine and all the kind of medicine. And he, he is the last one to get the benefit. Have you ever heard of a doctor who described medicine for everything and he is the last one who can fix his sickness. Look, look, I have a, I'm going to share this with you, but please don't share it with everybody. This is between us, you know, family, you know, like, I mean, we need to keep it together. Okay. Because we don't want the world to get the benefit, especially Joe Biden. You know, I don't want Joe Biden to be really healthy. I mean, come on, this guy, I need to go. Please, sir, don't give him this medicine. Look at this medicine, which Muhammad discovered, which is not really even, I mean, this is what the Arab they use. For centuries before us now Arab even Jews everybody Hindus everybody use it but look what Muhammad he came with this the Nagla seed is the remedy for every disease and you know the funny is what the Muslim will translate look what they say but some like who is this a heck of this just tell them what this mean the translator did not know what the word mean obviously Muhammad is saying that Negla seed have remedy for every illness, every sickness except death. Have you ever heard of a stupid prophet? He claimed that death is a disease. Look, look, read, read the sentence. Negla seed has rem is a remedy for every disease except death. You see, when I say except, I'm talking about what? An exception for the previous word, correct? People, are you with me? When I say except, the exception is what? The exception from the previous. So how death is exception from disease? So he, this Nagla seed save you from every disease except death. It's just with the stupidity. And you know what? Well, you Muslims, why you go? Why you, why you get sick? Why you die so early? I mean, go and see your 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 death, your your lifespan average. Why you have hospital? Why you have doctors? Just get the Nagla seed. And why Muhammad he die? Always is sick. Muhammad is always sick. You don't why he don't take Nagla seed? Aisha she reported 
the prophet in his element, which he died, used to say, used to say, I feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. And at this time, I feel as my orta is being cut off. What about you take some nagla seed and you will be like a horse? Do you see it? He used to say, this, this guy, the Muslim, they agree that Muhammad, he ate the food four years ago. Four years ago. So this guy is suffering. His health is declining. Took him four years. Where is your medicine? Where is your honey? Where is your nagla seed? And where is your God? And the Muslim, they say to you that Allah, he will never allow his prophet to be killed. This is his favorite prophet, Muhammad. He was killed by a Jew, a Jewish woman. She bought poison from Walmart for $22. Some people, they say it was discount. It was Good Friday. She got it for 90 cents. And she killed the prophet. So why Allah want to save Jesus, but he don't want to save Muhammad? I mean, nothing makes any sense in this stupid religion. And the funny is, Muhammad, he said, and this is additional science, you can add to the, the previous science, which you learned from the other science, that if you eat seven ajwa, no poison can kill you. A Muslim, he says to you, well, don't the Bible says no poison can kill you? My friend, Jesus, the Christian, believed that Jesus himself was killed. So obviously you got the meaning wrong. And if there's a Christian, he think that this is what it's really meant. He do not know the Bible yet because Jesus himself was killed. So why would not be killed? The disciple of Jesus only get killed. So why would not get killed? The poison the Bible speak about that if you live in this world, if you are surrounded by the poison we see every day, like Islam is a poison. Atheism is a poison. Liberals, what they teach in their schools are a poison. No poison can affect us because Jesus said, fear not those who destroy the body. So Jesus told us they will destroy the body, but those who destroy the soul. Jesus, he is the one who said to us, time will come and people will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. So Jesus told us that we will be killed. And those who killed us because of their ignorance, they think they are doing favor to God. And this is you Muslims. And here we see, Muhammad saying, if you eat seven ajwa every day, no poison can kill you. And no magic can affect you. And the funny Muhammad, he had both. He was affected by magic according to Muslims, and he died by poison. And yet he eat every morning seven ajwa. And Muhammad, he stuck with certain numbers. He stole them from the Bible. Seven. Did you ask yourself why Muhammad, he says, there will be 12 Imam? He's trying to hijack Jesus. This false prophet, Antichrist prophet, he is not an Antichrist, he is Antichrist, but not the Antichrist. This Antichrist man, he tried to hijack Jesus. Jesus have a 12 disciple. He told them, you after me, there will be 12 Imam. Why 12? And where are they? <laughs> Jesus says seven, Muhammad says seven. Jesus, he fast 40 days, Muhammad, he say 40. Any number, Jesus, he say, Muhammad, he copy and he try to make a story of it. Muhammad the fraud. This is his name. The most obvious liar fabricator in history. Huh? Any Muslim have an objection? Yeah, this is what we answer the false Israel. Pakistani boy, go change your name. Go change your name and come back so we can laugh at you. Coward son of Muta. We just answer that. The Christian believed their God himself who was killed. 
So obviously this is what the verse mean. And you are a coward like your prophet. And you know, the funny is that when the Muslim, they will read their, their stories and then we read their own interpretation. They say we don't accept. And when we give them our interpretation, they don't accept. Suddenly they became expert in the Bible too. Suddenly they become expert with the Bible. Cowards. They don't dare to call me. They don't dare to answer me. You can call me and you can post for me this verse and tell me how this, I just answer about it. Before you mention, I'm the one who mentioned it. Liars, liars. Will end in fire. If there is any brave Muslim, he dare. If there is any Muslim here, he dare to call me. Who is here first time? We have a lady, her name is Lena. It's first time. Who is here first time? If you are here first time, give me one. If you are here first time, give me one. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like what we do. Here we defeat Islam with no mercy. Here we show the world that Islam is a scam. And as you see, everything we say is in the screen from their books. Nothing from our books. We don't defeat Islam by quoting a verse from the Bible. Muslims don't accept. This is what makes them upset, actually, because we are showing them what is written in their book. And what is written in their books is astonishing embarrassment. The guy, he just said, if you eat seven ajwa, no poison and no magic can affect you. And then we find that Muhammad, even his sex was fake. The guy, he never had sex with his wives. He was imagining himself. This guy is the same as the guy in the movie. It's called The Perfect Host. I don't know how many of you watch it. The Perfect Host is a person who is mentally ill. He writes letters to himself. He has sex with women in his house, but nobody is there. He has visitors who come to visit him. He serves food and dinner in the table. He talks to them, but nobody is there. That's Muhammad. If you do not see the movie, first time I saw it, I was astonished that this story is about Muhammad. This guy, he sit in the table and he have a conversation with women and men he danced with the women, but nobody there. He write letters to himself. He sent a postcard from his girlfriend to himself, by himself. Muhammad, the perfect host. And he enjoy torturing people. And he take pictures with his guest, which is nobody there. Nobody see the guest except him. That is Muhammad. He imagined himself having sex, but in fact, he never did. A perfect movie about the imperfect Muhammad. They changed his name from Qatham to the praised one. Even the name of Muhammad proved that he is a fraud. How in the world you call yourself the praised one? Isn't it God is the praised one? The Muslim, they claim that they worship one God, yet they call their prophet the praised one. So who is Allah? 
if Muhammad is the praised one, who is Allah? Even the name of your false prophet is a pagan title given to Muhammad because now you associate a man with God. You claim that you worship a man or you worship a God. You say, no, we worship Allah. Muhammad is just his servant. Then you call Muhammad a praised one. And then we ask you, who praise him? You say Allah, the angels, and all the believers. Who is left? Muhammad is God in Islam. Even the Quran says, Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna al Nabi. My friend, a Muslim, he lives in, in, in uh, Sweden. He support ISIS. Is that his mistake or the stupid of the Swedish people who have been there? Those stupid Sweden people, they, they brought all those people to their country. They have no jobs. They give them food. They give them shelter. They give them from education. And they give them, and, and, they, and they just have babies. Don't complain. Muslim, they do what Muslim do. Every Muslim support Al-Qaeda. Every single Muslim. So if one of them, he go and he make a video saying it, don't you think that the rest do it, but behind doors? Don't complain about what Muslims do. Complain about the stupid governments in the West who bring them and they knew every single terrorist who is running from Islamic country, you will find him in the West. Go to England, it's the nest of terrorists. Al Khomeini himself was living for many, many years in France. His apartment, he have a salary, he have a free uh, uh, medical, he have a, 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 for free. Al Khomeini, the founder of Al Qaeda, he was a hero for the CIA. We don't want to lie to ourselves, we want to fool ourselves. The most evil are the Western government who support Islam. This is why you see YouTube is against me. Why? Because this is the West. Many people think that the West is against Islam. The fact nobody support the devil as the West does. The one who is in the White House here now, he was quoting Muhammad saying, if one of you, he sees something wrong, he better change it by his hand. He's asking them to do terrorism. Do you know that it is the CIA who taught Muslims how to make suicide vest and how to make a bomb in the street? Do you know that we used to have a budget and actually until now we have it? Do you know that Al-Qaeda, yesterday they claim that they killed a Zawahiri, but there's more than 80,000 fighters of Al-Qaeda in Syria. And if the Russian tried to get rid of them, America and Turkey stood against them. So they say to you, we are against Al-Qaeda. They are against Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan, but you support Al-Qaeda in Syria. The devil, my friend, have no ethic. The devil have no ethic. Those people, they worship money. They are the one who supported the Mujahideen. You will see a guy in Fox News, his name is Sean Hannity. And Hannity, he says, in the time of Reagan, President Reagan was supporting the Mujahideen. The coward, the liar, he forgot that the Mujahideen, they are Taliban. Do you see how hypocrite they are? So my friend, we are here to fight hypocrisy. And we don't want to complain about Muslims being Muslims. We want to complain about people who like Liu and me and others. They are ignorant. Your tax go to them. Six hundred million dollars was sent to the terrorists in Syria from Obama alone. And the excuse is what? We want to change a regime. And what kind of regime? A regime which is secular. This guy in Syria, he don't care for Allah. They made fun of Allah every day. So they want to take the president of Syria and they want to place him by Al-Qaeda. And this is the truth. Don't make them fool you. They are the one who support Islam and they are the one who promote it. 
I cannot keep my videos on my channel because they support Islam. YouTube is with Muslims and Islam, Facebook, Twitter, even TikTok owned by the Chinese. I open a channel, they ban it. The devil, my friend, have many faces and Islam is one of them. The devil is the liberal. The devil, the devil is the atheist. The devil is the Democrat. The devil even is exists between those call themselves Republican or conservative. Hypocrisy is where the devil live. It's like a cancer. He look for the weak cells to destroy it. And we are here to fight for the truth. The friend of uh, USA is the Prince of Qatar. This guy is the biggest terrorist in the world. Trump, he went out of the White House. He said, the Prince of Qatar need to stop supporting terrorism. The video is there in the internet. Two weeks after, the Prince of Qatar, he rent a building from his son-in-law. Suddenly, the Prince of Qatar is our friend. And since then, Trump, he did not mention his name again. And not only that, he sold him the most expensive, the most advanced airplane. You idiot, you coward, you hypocrite. Yesterday, he was a terrorist. A week after, he's your friend just because he rented a building. Biden, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, he's a criminal. He killed Khachukji. He is a criminal. And then they visit him just two weeks ago. <laughs> hypocrisy hypocrites they have no God they have no ethic they are the same as Muhammad zero ethic you see the Muslim you ask them why Muhammad had many wives He's, they say to you he was establishing Islam which means Muhammad was using women to establish Islam hypocrite this is what those people you do they sleep with you to get a benefit this is the American government this is the French government. This is the British government. This is the Europe. Zero ethic. Everything for sale. And yet, they are the ones who speak about the human right. Nobody speak about the human right as they do. But as long you are the Prince of Qatar, you can do as you wish. Put people in jail. Just we need your gas now. Do you have gas? Forget, forget about everything. Suddenly, the Prince of Qatar became the most nice person ever. This is the truth. And the truth, my friend, will set you free. And that is Jesus. Jesus, he ordered us to expose those people. Never be politically correct and never take a side. You see, I love this country. I served in the, I joined the USA Army because I love this country. But doesn't mean I will be hypocrite. It doesn't mean I will side with the hypocrite. When you vote, doesn't matter what country you are, never vote for a hypocrite. Never vote for someone who stands against the teaching of Christ. Otherwise, you become a hypocrite too. Never. Those who they are hypocrite, they have no loyalty. Avoid them in your life, even in personal life. If you have a friend, he is a hypocrite, trust me, he will be a hypocrite with you too. If he is hypocrite with his family or his friends, he will do the same to you. Those people have no loyalty. You see, loyalty is about a person who have an ethic. And he is loyal to his ethic first, not to the person. And his loyalty will move based in his ethic. When a person has zero ethic, he has zero loyalty. The American, they use the Kurdish to fight in Syria. The American, they are done. They want to leave the Kurdish so the Turkish can kill them. No ethic. This is what Trump, he decided to do. Overnight, suddenly he decided to leave. So Erdogan can kill them all. Zero ethic. So Republican, Democrat, they are no better. We vote for Democrat or we vote for Republican. At the end, they are both zero ethic. But we say Republican because at least those people, they make sense sometime. Sometime, not always. They use you and then they throw you under the bus. They have no friends. They are practicing Islam. You see, Umar al-Khattab, he is the companion of the Prophet. 
He used Muhammad so he can establish himself. Muhammad, he died. He went to the house of his daughter. He broke the door. He he kicked, he kicked her. He killed her baby. And the women, he, he, he wanted to burn the house and the women, she died because of that. Muhammad, he have a grandsons. Muhammad have a cousin. Muhammad have a family. They killed them all. This is why Islam and the West, they are in bed together. They match. And when I talk about the West, I'm not talking about those naive American or naive Western. I'm talking about the government, the CIA, the White House. Very evil. They worship one thing, dollar. And those who worship money, they have no God. So I want to say thank you all for being here. I know that you will not like what I say, many of you, but I share the truth and I don't care who like it, who's not. If you don't like it, don't come here again. Your friend is the one who says to you, when your clothes is dirty, it's dirty. When you are clean, you are clean. The hypocrite is the one who says to you, you are clean all the time, even when you stink, because he don't want you to fix yourself. Never take a friend like that. Actually, when he don't correct you, he's trying to destroy you. You know, once I remember, there's a guy here with his wife and he have his zipper open. His zipper, his pants is open. Nobody is telling the guy. I do not know the guy. So I went to him and I told him, your zipper is open. And then the guy, he says, do you believe it? All those people, they know, there's no way they did not see me. I'm here for the last hour. Nobody told me. And you are the one who don't, I do not know. Do I know you? He said, no, I do not know me. But, you know, I I know that you do not know. You know? And your wife standing next to you, so she would not see. Not a single one of his friends, who they are looking at him, talking to him, said to him, your zipper is open. Think about it. Why? Because they want people to laugh at him. They want him to look bad. If they are true friends, the first one he saw him, he say, hey, buddy, your zipper is open. Close it. And the zipper goes to everything in life. Those who they are hypocrite, they zip their mouth when they should talk. And they open their mouth when they should not talk. That's why you see a lot of a Christian priest these days, they have a perfect zipper. They speak about anything except what is or what they should speak about. They have a big zipper like Muhammad. So I want to say thank you for being here, my friends. Next time we'll take questions like, you know, if we don't have a topic, people, some of you, they have a to uh, questions to talk about. We will take them. And maybe next time I go live, I will allow Christians to call me. So next time, maybe. If you like, you can join us in the conversation. And again, this is my Skype. I posted for you before. I think, uh, I don't know, the admin can post it again. I lost, um, I lost the, the, the link. Uh, so you can join me in, uh, in the conversation. And uh, don't send me messages in Skype to say to me, hello and hi. You see what we do in Skype here is to use it, not for saying hello. Those who they want to call, they can call. So when I say Christian, call me. That's me, Christian, can call me. But don't send me a text saying, God bless you. Don't send me a text says, is that a Christian prince? Don't text me. This is only for calling. All right? I want to say thank you very much for being here. Uh, what will happen when Iran get an atomic bomb? My friend, the hypocrisy of American and Israel is amazing. How come they are not upset for Pakistan having many of them? Which one is more dangerous? Pakistan is a country full of terrorists. How come nobody get upset? Did you ask yourself? Do you know that the guy who made the bomb for Pakistan, he studied in USA? Don't they knew really this guy will go back home? So this is additional form of hypocrisy. Either you know that terrorist country should not have a bomb and then you stop them all. 
or you don't stop anybody. And then you ask yourself, why Israel until now never attack those facility? I will tell you why. They are waiting for us to fight for them. Hypocrites. They don't want to pay for war. They want somebody else to do it for them. And the Americans are the foolish one, and always they do. They are in service. The Muslim they want to fight the Serbian in Bosnia. They pay the NATO. The NATO go. The Muslim they want to get rid of Al Qazafi. They pay the NATO. The NATO go. The Shia they want to get rid of Saddam Hussein. America is ready. Just pay for it. Kuwait was occupied by Iraq. 250,000 American soldiers were sent. What is our business? What's exactly our business? They paid us a lot of money. So suddenly, USA became a missionary army. We fight for others, not for ourselves. We are the one who protects Saudi Arabia, but when you need their oil, they don't give it to you. We are the one who bail out Turkey, but when we have war, they don't allow us to use their space. Who is the one who sponsored Erdogan in Turkey? Who is the coward who sponsored them? A person who is a terrorist, who support Al-Qaeda, who support ISIS, and he was buying the oil, storing oil from them. And right now, as we speak, all the territory controlled in Syria by Turkey is under the command of Al-Qaeda. Do the CIA know? For sure they knew. They send them weapon. So my friend, don't listen to news. Jesus said, from their fruits, you shall know them. Shall we look at the fruits? Hmm? Shall we? Don't look what they say. They say something in TV. We killed a Zawahiri, yet they support Al Qaeda in Syria. They killed the one who have no nothing. I mean, he have no no, no power no more. Who is this guy anyway? But the one who have very heavy arms, and they are in the border of Europe. They are just in the north of in the south of Turkey. They are less than 200 miles from Greece. Protected by Turkey. Funded by Qatar. Blessed by USA. And this is the truth. Thank you very much for being here. And we'll see you soon again. Christ is Lord. And the liars, they got busted. No mercy with the liars. God will punish all. You cannot be with him and against him at the same time. The Lord, he says, you have to be like a water, either hot or cold, so I can swallow you. Those who they are so-so, they taste yuck. Imagine you drink warm water, not hot and not like warm drink, but it's a water. It's not hot. It's not cold. It is yuck. They want to be in the warm because they don't want to take a side. For they are hypocrite. They live in the gray area. They are neither black. They are neither white. They are gray. For they are fake. Thank you all. And I hope we learned something good for today. Share the video. Download it. And remember, Christ is Lord, Islam is a scam, and Islam without lies dies. Take care.
I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 